Hey all, Russ here over here at TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is Highway 2. We're just now leaving uh, Ashland, Wisconsin. And we're heading to Michigan. We're going about 30 miles. We're going to be over in Ironwood, Michigan. Going to say so long, Wisconsin. What a pretty ride up here through the North Shore along Lake Superior, but it's time to head to Michigan. It's mid-morning, about 10 o'clock. Kind of checked on the maps. It's supposed to be a really cool museum up here in Ironwood. Then from there, we're going to keep heading east. That was so cool, seeing all them old buildings down there in Ashland, Wisconsin. My goodness, and the big murals, all of it. That was one really cool stop, one to remember too. All right, let's keep on trucking. Had to stop, change the batteries in the cameras where we head into Ironwood. Look at this sign here, Iron Range. Back in the 1800s, discovered all kinds of iron ore here. Wow, a huge area. Made this area really wealthy. Stocks went up 1,200%. Then it all crashed in 1887. See, everywhere you go up here, there is just history upon history. Pretty cool. All right, well, this quick little uh, pit stop. Had to put new batteries in before we head into town. We're not that much farther to the state line as well. Heat's kind of picking up. A little humid, too. Well, the roadways around Wisconsin are just blessed with all kinds of roadside uh, areas to pull off. Wow, look at all the farmland. As far as you can see, but can you imagine all the iron ore activity? 80 mile stretch. Made a lot of people wealthy and then it all went away. <laughs> Pretty good road. I ran into quite a bit of road construction a few miles back. Wasn't worth filming, got too slow. Wow, there's a big farm. here we go the state line is actually a river it follows along a river between Wisconsin and Michigan it's right there at there's actually another town two towns here Ironwood and Hurley and uh, the museum is actually in Ironwood 
farther up the road uh, tonight. I'm going to stay in an RV park. Then we're going to head right back up north to Lake Superior. Okay, we are getting closer. Almost out of Wisconsin. Splits up here, rest area. Pretty sure we need to keep going uh, straight. Yep. Another roundabout. So, where's the state line? Oh, this has to be it here. This low bridge. Okay, here we go. We are now officially, yay, in Michigan. Right here is a rest area and visitor center. Let's stop, check it out. Oh, I can figure out where I gotta go to find that museum. And it looks open. Wow, this is a big park. Okay, well, what do you say? Take a little walk. Get a picture of the sign up here. Here comes an RV. I wonder if I change time zones here. Because I'm pretty sure Michigan is East Coast. I know in Wisconsin I was still, uh, what was it, Central time. I'll ask them inside. Hey, there's that white van again. Yeah, look at this place, like a big park. Definitely heating up here. We're quite a ways. We're several miles from Lake Superior. We're inland a few ways, so definitely tell the difference. Looks like a map over here. Well. Go on, check this first. Hi there. Hi. Something I can help you find? No, oh, just looking what you got. Okay, feel free to help yourself. All of our information is free. What time zone are we in? You're currently in the central time. Still zone. central. When does it change? In 20 miles on M28 or 170 miles on US2. Okay. The four counties that border Wisconsin are central. The rest of the state is eastern. Okay. Okay, so I'm still central time, but I'll, I'll pick up East Coast later today. These time changes are kind of messing with me this year. I don't know why. Hard to get used to. There's a map of Ironwood. She said I need to go downtown. I've got to go up about a mile up the road and then turn down into town. And that museum should be open the time we get down there. And yes, upcoming videos, we're going to explore the entire 
Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Got some big plans. Oh, what, Car Copper Harbor. All kinds of cool stuff. Things that were closed two, three years ago when I drove through here, nothing was open. Well, what do you say? Wanna go find that museum? Well, you could pull in here and probably spend the night. I don't think they let you like camp camp, but you could probably uh, get some quick shut eye. Huge park. Yeah, changing time zones. I don't know why this trip. Maybe it's because of the heat. Because, like, where I'm at in uh, Arizona, that's mountain time, Pacific time. Then here, before I know it, it's 6 o'clock at night. <laughs> Should only be, like, 3 or 4. Well, I'll get used to it. All right. We say we're going to cruise around Ironwood. There's also a Walmart here. I need to get supplies before I head out of town. Pretty busy town. Of course, it's almost what, 11 o'clock now. Highway 2, Business 2, to the right, sign says downtown, here we go. That's what the nice lady back there said to take. And should be about a half mile down. Old Town Ironwood. Then the museum's like an old train depot or something down here. Residential, a lot of houses, huh? They go back a ways. Old brick building right there. Cool. You always see flags flying in the little towns, isn't that nice? And flower baskets hanging off the poles. Oh, look at that. There's the guy watering them right there. Well, he does a real good job. Okay, I better pay attention where I'm going here. <laughs> There's the feed store. <laughs> I'd say we're getting here. Yay, we made it. Okay, off to the right, there's the museum right there. Why don't we do this first? Let's do a loop around downtown, then we'll come back. So, welcome to Ironwood. Michigan.
all kinds of shops, huh? Wow. A little bit of everything down here. Small business backbone of the U.S. Okay, I think I need to make a right. It's not very big. I'm kind of following the phone. I'm cheating. <laughs> Pretty good sized mirror on this building off to the right. Okay, make a right here. Yeah, this isn't near the size of Ashland. Another right, then we'll go find that museum. take a break from driving. There's another mural. A building uh, straight across. Look at that, a Ben Franklin. I haven't seen that name since I was a kid. Ben Franklin store. Where I grew up, they had one with a soda fountain. That's where he bought all your candy. <laughs> well, cool. Ironwood's a cool little town here. Okay, find this uh, museum. It's supposed to be the old train depot. Well, there it is off to the left. I think I should have pulled in there. Another little parking lot up here. This is a doctor's office. I goofed. And it's blocked off right there. Okay. Let me get turned around. We'll go back over. First time I got lost all morning. Your adventure starts here. Wow, they got big trails. Iron Bale Trail. All the flags are flying on the roof. What's this? Ooh, old picture. Historic Ironwood self guided tour. Looks pretty much the same map we've seen back at the rest area. Let's say it's open. Italians on the Iron Range. Oh wow, they used this for their city hall. For a long time, this is their public buildings. Dry good. Who knows what they did down here, huh? Imagine the amount of people that came through here. Well, what do you say? Go on in. No charge to get in. Wow, those are cool looking. Yeah. 
Actually, that's very well done painting. Lots of local history. Welcome to the museum. He said that walking thing, those trails are along railroad tracks, They're not, along, not along streets. Some of it is anyway. Look at that stained glass door. How old's the stained glass? You know, I think it dates to around the 1910s. Uh, it was part of the now demolished uh, Catholic high school here. It's beautiful. They sold the rest of it to someplace in California. Yeah, figured. Old grandfather clock. Back in the day when this was actually a train depot, probably, huh? Moving all that ore. Little town, big history. See what else they got. Yeah, what workmanship in that glass. So 1910, that, that piece there is 100 and some years old, 110, 20. The old mercantile store. Old Amazon back in the day. Get your dry goods. What a cute little town. Old luggage back in the day from the travelers. A lot of these museums, they really rely on donations from the locals. about logging got the oxen out there to haul the logs let's see what the calendar is night 1914, there you go. I'll be darned. More local history, that glare on that glass kind of hard to read through. Get the snow sled out with the horses. That reminds you where you're at. You know, you see weather outside like this. Father and son there. See weather like this, you'd forget about a couple feet of snow and below zero weather. Aerial view of town. Quite a 
a few of the gemstones. You know, Lake Superior is full of gems. On the beaches. Wow, look at them flowers hanging. We'll have to go out there too. More about logging. And the old guns, they always gotta have the old guns. cool check out this old building everything's old around here including me <laughs> yeah I want to see these flowers hanging out here almost looks like a beehive doesn't it Oh, look at the bench. Wow. Now that is very unique. Yeah, what pretty colors. Smell good, too. So, big park here. Old town you can walk around. Gotta be campgrounds around here somewhere. I'm gonna keep trucking once I hit the Walmart. I'm gonna head there here shortly. Keep heading east. Zigzag our way back up to Highway 2. I wasn't even going to come down here. I was just going to drive right on through Ironwood. I'm kind of glad I stopped. Got to explore it. Small towns, back roads. And little museums like that, those things are priceless. I, a lot of it's local history. You don't really know the locals but just how they preserve it and save it it's important definitely worth coming here in those trails they're probably ATV trails you can uh, ride along the railroad tracks For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website or vrtv.tv. Sign up for my free newsletter. I'm putting one out now on the 5th and 20th of each month. There I put in uh, low info about upcoming travels, what to expect in future videos, plus where I've been. And we're adding puzzles, downloadable puzzles now that are free. And I got a merch store. You can get coffee mugs, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of cool stuff. Which helps support the channel and this kind of travel. And I sure do appreciate it. Once again, it's rvertv.tv. Okay, get back here on Highway 2. Start trucking east.
So we're going to do a few miles. We're going to end up tomorrow in a little town right on Lake Superior called Silver City. That'll be the goal and that'll start our truck across the upper peninsula of Michigan. Going to try to follow the water line as much as possible, the shoreline I should say. We're going to spend time, go through uh, some towns, all the way up Copper Harbor. And then when we drop back down, we'll keep on trucking across the upper peninsula of Michigan. So, quite a few plans. I hope they all work out. You never know till you get on the road, actually, and start traveling. But we're here. Wisconsin was a cool state. But now we are in Michigan officially. So right up the road here is their big Walmart. I'm going to stop, stock up some supplies, check a few emails, then keep on trucking. Journey continues. Talk soon.